back. Here's a startling stat for you. The U.S. Department of Health and Human Resources recently reported that about 13 percent of young adults age 18 to 25 had both a substance use disorder and a mental illness within the past year. This week is National Prevention Week. It's, it's truly a time to shine a light on information like this and learn how you can prevent it and treat both mental health and a substance use disorder. Joining us this morning is Aaron Bitter. He's a program director at Symmetria Recovery. Good morning to you, Aaron. Good morning. Thank you for having me. So can you tell us more about the Recovery Center? Glad to have you. Yes, Symmetria is a CARF uh, gold seal facility. We've got uh, locations in Arlington, Louisville, Hearst, and Fort Worth, and we treat uh, various substance use disorders and co-occurring mental health mm -hmm. challenges, and we offer a real holistic approach. Um, really, with the opioid epidemic, uh, Symmetria is a place that really is the front line of that epidemic. You know, I feel like a lot of families right now are looking for more of a holistic approach instead of so many drugs, you know, to, to treat. Um, you guys also provide dual diagnosis. What does that mean? So dual diagnosis would be uh, co-occurring co mental health and substance use disorder. So statistics say that for someone with a substance use disorder, about nearly half of those individuals will also have a mental, some sort of mental health challenge. Um, so a place that's dual diagnosis like Symmetria is going to offer individualized therapy, psychotherapy, group education, medication, and just again, try to address the underlying trauma, underlying issues that led to that substance use issue in the first place. What are, I guess, some action tips that you can give people that are watching this morning who may be suffering or have a loved one that's suffering? Absolutely, I mean, so support is, is number one and positive support, that's one of the things I always talk about is trying to move away from sort of like the 1980s, yeah. uh, 90s type messaging. Um, treatment is important, recovery is important, but just having an open, honest, non-judgmental you know, dialogue with that loved one. That makes sense. Now, you guys uh, recently just opened a new clinic here in DFW. Tell us more about yeah. that. We've got a state-of-the-art clinic in Arlington that just opened up, again, you know, offering, um, you know, all, all avenues of treatment, uh, individual therapy, group therapy, uh, education, uh, medication, um, and really just, again, with the, I think people understand that there is an epidemic going on. You know, we've been talking about the opioid crisis for a while, but I, again, I, sometimes I don't think, even with all the discussion, people don't realize just, um, you know, this is going on, um, you know, especially with young adults. Yeah. Um, it's, it's really scary what's out there. How detrimental it truly is. Aaron, let's go back to that number. 18 to 25 year olds have both disorders or diagnoses rather that's an alarming number. Oh, absolutely. And I, you know, you'll see things as how is it, you know, what created this trend, things like social media um, is, is one of them, but it's, it's just a bigger, bigger issue. I mean, I, I you know, my kids uh, go to school in Coppell, the heart of DFW suburbs, both geographically and demographically. We do all kinds of things here for prevention, education. And yet, I mean, we still see, we had a, junior at our local high school that um, tragically um, suffered a fatal um, unintentional overdose last oh. weekend. Um, and, and again, this is this is a school district that's doing a ton of work on yeah. prevention. And yet we still see these things happen on a regular basis. Let me tell you that that is heartbreaking. Um, Aaron, how can people reach out to you? How can they learn more about Symmetra Recovery? I mean, easy. I mean, symmetryrecovery.com, very easy to find information to get started. Again, you know, we have locations throughout the Metroplex, um, any of our clinics. Um, it's, time and time again, we'll be told that, you know, that they never felt judged walking in here. Yeah. It's something that we pride ourselves on, uh, taking what we call a person centered approach and, you know, just really just trying to meet the person where they're at. Um, that's, you know, we're here. We're here for anyone at any stage of, that recovery process. Right. Aaron, thank you so much uh, for joining us here on Daybreak and, and thank you for the work that you and your team are doing as well. Of course, we really appreciate you having us of on course. here.